Welcome to MDIS GT, the multidisciplinary integrated design system for gas turbines. In this instructional video, we will review the stage design section found in step 2 of the design tab. Let us start by opening an existing turbofan design and initialize the preliminary performance using step 1. Let us close this window and select Step 2, Design Point Analysis. On doing so, we obtain the Integrated Detail Design window. This standardized interface is used for the integrated fan, compressor, and turbine stage design point mainline analysis, airflow design, and disk design. On the left-hand side of the window, we have the visual representation of the multi-stage geometry. The visual representation includes the specific spool stages with rotor and stator blade rows, the rotor disc, and inner and outer gas paths. One is able to manipulate the airflow corner points with the mouse by grabbing and dragging the yellow circles. The stage parameters are entered on the right-hand side of the window. The first section, identified as stage geometry, is where the rotor and stator geometric parameters are defined. Starting from the top and moving downwards, we have the following parameters. First, we have the radial coordinates that define the airflow corner points. Leading and trailing edge and hub and tip values are entered. The geometric mid or average radius is automatically calculated and displayed in the green text box. Immediately following the set of corner points, we have the leading and trailing edge blockage factors followed by the free and force vortex values. Just below, we have the axial gaps between blade rows, and depending on the stage type, we may additionally have strut gaps and various fan stage blade row gaps. When checked, the value indicates the actual distance in inches, whereas when unchecked, it represents the percent gap distance based on the hub axial cord of the preceding blade row. Moving down, we encounter the blade row airflow type. Here, the designer chooses between the various available blade profiles. For example, we have the double circular arc profiles for 6 and 10% maximum thickness to cord compressors, and we have a modified Pritchard airflow type which can be used for both turbine and compressor blade rows. Continuing downwards, we have the following blade row geometric design parameters. The number of airfoils, the mid-radius axial cord, the calculated maximum thickness to cord ratio, followed by airfoil tip clearance. It should be noted that for compressor rotors or turbine blades, the clearance is assumed to be at the tip, and for compressor stators or turbine vanes, the clearance is assumed to be at the hub. Further on, we have the shotted knife edge count. This parameter is made available based on the clearance type selected. The designer may choose from various clearance types from the drop-down list. For example, shrouded or unshrouded clearance geometries. Finally, the leading and trailing edge diameters of the blade row may be either calculated as the diameter versus cord ratio for double circular arc compressor profiles or imposed as the actual diameter for Pritchard type profiles. Continuing on, we find the section where the remaining mainline model based calculated geometric blade parameters are displayed for user reference. We have the leading and trailing edge blade row metal angles, the total turning or camber angle, the calculated mainline based throat area, and finally the setting or stagger angle. Further on, we have the blade row exit relative Mach numbers displayed. These values are used to manually resolve and investigate convergence issues. Below the exit Mach numbers, we have the section to define the stage cooling flow values. The cooling flow values are used to define compressor bleed flows and turbine purge flows. In terms of available parameters, the user may enter the percent cooling flow as a decimal value, 
the cooling flow absolute total temperature, and an associated cooling flow pressure loss. Additionally, when the cooling BC option is checked, the user is allowed to impose the cooling flow parameters. When unchecked, the cooling flow parameters are obtained from the preliminary air system allocation. The final section is where the airflow blade roll loss is defined and displayed. When unchecked, the internal mean line loss model is used to predict the loss value. When checked, the imposed loss value is used in lieu of the mean line loss model prediction. Furthermore, the user may modify the blade roll loss by entering an additional loss correction value. This can be used to match experimental data. When done entering the values, click on the red check mark to accept your changes. The next section to the top right is the stage parameters. In this section, we define the stage static pressure based reaction and the stage work values. When done entering the values, click on the red check mark to accept your changes. Once the mean line model is executed, the stage pressure ratio and the stage total to total efficiency values are displayed. The RPM value is displayed for user reference. The next section, called stage options, is where the user can further modify the stage geometry. The user may specify if the stage has a vane blade row, if the stage has a strut blade row, if the fan stage has a split stator, and if the stage is a centrifugal stage. Additionally, the user may decouple the turbine inlet pressure condition from the compressor mainline model results by selecting the independent turbine inlet option. And finally, when satisfied with the complete integrated stage, airfoil, and disc design, the user may designate the stage as hold geometry. This will prevent an update to the geometry due to a design point parameter change or due to a file solution initialization. Each selection will require a click on the red check mark to accept the specific changes. The next section, called overall spool values, is used to display and compare the preliminary performance target values versus the mainline model calculated values. The values compared are the overall spool work, the overall spool pressure ratio, and the overall spool total to total efficiency. Additionally, the total spool power and total spool torque are displayed for user reference. The view chart options are used to display for the specific spool, the pressure ratio and reaction chart, and the surge margin chart. The pressure ratio and reaction chart is valid for fan, compressor, and turbine, whereas the surge margin is valid for fan and compressors. Now let us move on to the stage menu items found at the top. The first button is the SI button. This will convert the displayed results between Imperial and standard international units. The H button displays leading and trailing edge geometric values such as the mean line radius, the airflow span, and the airflow axial analyst area. The TP button will display the mean line model flow field results in a table. A complete set of mean line model calculated values are available to the user. The G button will display general stage data such as stage total to total efficiency, stage total pressure and total temperature ratio, the static pressure based stage reaction, the calculated velocity and temperature based work values. These two work values are used to confirm proper mean line model convergence and for debugging purposes. Following these values, we have the blade row exit relative Mach numbers. Finally, we have the stage power and the stage torque. The L button will display the blade roll loss decomposition in a tabular format. The stage debug button is used as per its namesake. We then have the various mainline model execution buttons. 
Depending on the stage type, you may be able to run the mean line model as single stage, single spool, or multi-spool mode. For full engine modeling, the user must follow the logical sequence of fan, compressor, and then turbine when running the mean line model. The Take a Picture button will capture a JPEG image of the spool cross-section. And finally, we have the Export Gas Path button, which will export the mainline model-based hub and tip gas path definition to individually formatted text files to be used with the ANSYS TurboGrid options. In the next video, we will continue to review the integrated design window.